is Matthew with the Gargistic YouTube channel. Come to show you guys a little bit about the E30 subframe core exchange program that we do and supporting modifications for you do-it-yourselfers. And we'll get right into it. So basically what we have here is a subframe that's half modified. And we did this for purposes that we could educate people about what gets broken and what doesn't, what needs reinforcement, what doesn't. Um, so basically what ends up what we got here is on this side, we got a stock subframe. So you got basically, this is a, the part that holds the motor. Um, and these parts collapse, and it's not just with uh, racing application, even stock cars with the kind of mileage that we're seeing on these cars right now, they tend to fail. So they crack and rip and all of that. We do sell reinforcement pieces for guys who can weld it yourself. You can MIG, you can TIG, as long as it's clean. Um, and in case you can see like this, this has been you know stripped, so, uh, which is what we do in our core exchange program, so that way we can see any cracks. But if you weld it yourself, no big deal. Just make sure you get all the grease, grime, that way you get good penetration in your welds. Um, the way these things go on is like this. They go from under. Some people have used these on the other side to raise their motor. It's really up to you. Um, it's only, it's 11 gauge steel, so it is fairly thick, but it's not thick enough to throw off your drivetrain or anything like that. Sagging motor mounts will actually have the same symptom. Um, you could then uh, use our gussets. And the best thing to do for getting these gussets on is to basically start by putting them just like that and basically laying a bead right through here first and then basically taking a hammer and actually hammering this down. And it will hammer you know, fairly easy once you get it going and it gives it a nice little contoured edge and gives it a nice fit as well. Um, but some people, you know, they just try to tuck it as well. It's up to you. Both of them work in strengthening the motor mount spot. Another common failure area is sway bar mount. Uh, now this is basically a guaranteed failure if you have aftermarket sway bars that are bigger, they will break. Uh, they're very thin. So the 11 gauge steel uh, reinforcements that we sell are very handy. You can get those here. And basically on our core exchange program, you guys don't have to worry about any of this. It's all included. So basically this is what it kind of looks like when it's all welded up. You got your motor mount reinforcement. You got your control arm reinforcement. This is overkill. Mostly guys do wheel to wheel racing, bumping into each other or drifting or generally hitting um, so that's a good uh, modification for that. Not all racing sanctions allowed that, so be sure to check with your uh, rules for your racing sanction team. And here's the front sway reinforcement. Right, so now that you've seen how you can do it, you either have the do-it-yourself kit, which can be purchased here, or the core exchange program, which can be purchased here. Okay, that was bad. That was terrible.